lecture, I'm going to discuss about how to create ODBC data source for MySQL database. So first here, I'm going to show you the workbench, MySQL workbench. And uh, on this place, you can see root is the user, server local host, this is the port. And clicking there and connecting with this. Then you can see list of database and there you can see the tables are present there. The next thing is you need to go on this Google search box right there, MySQL ODBC Driver. Click on this site. Then uh, this place you can get here or uh, ODBC Driver. This is 64, 64 GIF file, MSI file. So here MSI file that going to download because no need to do the extraction. Then after click there, no thanks and now file is downloading so here let's click this and now I'm going to install this ODBC driver so currently I'm using the Windows operating systems Windows 11 click on next here accept next then let's use here complete and install so this is now or installing that's complete there after that the next is here so in search box right there odbc driver for 64 bit then click on this add dsn selected this here and click on this add now you can scroll down if you scroll down this one then you can get this option MySQL ODBC 8.1 that I just download 8.1 Unicad so you can try any of these two and here using this MySQL ODBC 8.1 then after click on this finish this place you need to write the meaningful name so data source name there I am giving MySQL underscore so my SQL then or uh, they're going to write con. You can write any meaningful name. TCP IP server there. Let's write local host. Port automatically taken. That's fine. User here. Let's write root. Give the password. And uh, a database you can get. If I click there, then you can get, if not get, then directly, if you want, then you can write here. This is the database or percent there. So let's write here, Sakila. After giving this all information, click on this test. So if the information correct, then test. Here you can see connection successful. Click on OK. After that, OK. Then on this place here you can see my SQL con that's created. And this you can use anywhere. So sometimes if you want to connect my SQL with Visual Studio. So with the help of ODBC driver you can connect. So this is how uh, we can create ODBC or data source for my SQL database. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.